Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and today I'm showing you one solution of the common problem which we usually face while adding SP into uh, the da static data set. Uh, if that SP contains some uh, like temporary table from which we are selecting the data. So now for this example, I have a small SP which is uh, just uh, like getting data from orders table into a temporary table and then just selecting data back from the temporary table and dropping that temporary table. Now if you run this store procedure, it is giving us like order table. Uh, like the uh, output of that order table uh, like the content from the order table now what if, uh, what when we try to add this sp into the data set like first i go for use set, uh, like existing super procedure then i edit the sp and then if i'm trying to get it is giving me this exception now solution for this is very simple that is you just have to copy this text and you have to alter your sp now i will tell you like what this statement does if I try it now and if I try to run it again now it is giving me the same output now if I try to add this now and if I finish now my SP will get uh, added automatically now what this option do is now in this FMT on, on, uh, only uh, what it do is it return the metadata to the client instead of running actual query so uh, when this statement is in the SP so instead of running the SP and getting the output and then creating the data set it uh, it just return the uh, metadata to the client to the dot net so that it can construct that table now to like uh, verify this what I have said let me show you one example now in this what I am doing is I am initially setting FMT online uh, only uh, on and then selecting data from orders and uh, then selecting uh, like uh, uh, setting that FMT online only again off now if I try to run the query if you see select star from orders is giving me data now if I try to run this as a complete set now it is just returning me the column description like what are the list of the columns and like without any data so this FMT online and uh, uh, what uh, only uh, what it does it just return the metadata to the client instead of returning complete output so with this a small fix we can fix this issue and this will work now what why we have this like one equal to zero because this condition will never get satisfied so this will never get execute the thing is we don't want this statement to execute while running the SP so it is just for our client so that it can check whether there is FMT only um, set or not if once it is set it is just returning the data so to the client so this is a small fix to the uh, like the problem which usually we face so I hope you like the solution if you have any question then you can just contact me through my channel uh, and you can subscribe to my channel thank you